Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about configuring SSH when using Fedora. Now, when I talk about Fedora, I'm also talking about Red Hat. I'm also talking about CentOS. So, it's all the same glob of Linux. So, if you're using something other than Ubuntu, or that flavor of Linux, then this lab will work for you. Secure Shell, commonly known as SSH, is a protocol for allowing secure data connections between any two network devices that need to establish a secure channel over an unsecure or insecure network. SSH ensures a secure connection between two systems using client-server architecture and permits users to log in to server host systems remotely. And that's what this is all about. We would like to be able to access our Linux servers, our Cisco firewalls, our Cisco switches, and whatever else we have that is established somewhere remotely using a secure channel, and we can do that with SSH. For this lab, I will be using one install of VirtualBox, the latest edition with the extension pack, one virtual install of Fedora Workstation, one virtual install of Fedora Server, and I have set both my VirtualBox network adapters to use NAT networking. To ensure that we have connectivity between our workstation and our server, I'm going to go ahead and do an IF config on both and see what my network IP address is. Both devices should be sharing the same network IP. So let's go ahead and log in. I'm going to log in as root. And now I will type in IF config. And this is my Fedora server. It's currently headless. It does not have a desktop installed. And that's fine. We can use it that way uh, remotely and just use the command line interface to configure whatever it is we need. So the IP address for my Fedora server is 10.0.2.15. Let's take a look at my Fedora workstation. And here I will also type in ifconfig. And the IP address here is 10.0.2.9. And that puts me on the same network as my Fedora server. Back at the terminal for my Fedora server, I'm going to need to install the OpenSSH server package. Now to do this, I'm going to use DNF. So at the prompt, I've typed in sudo space DNF space install space OpenSSH dash server. Go ahead and hit enter. Now I've already installed this. So it should just come back and say that the package is already present. And you can see that the package is already installed. We'll next need to enable the service for SSH. And to do that, at the prompt, I've typed in systemctl space enable space. And the name of that service is sshd. Go ahead and hit enter. And it comes back to the prompt letting you know that that command completed successfully. Now we next need to start the service for SSH. Now to do this, I'm going to type in systemctl one more time, and I'm going to give it a space, type in start, give it a space, and type in the name of the service that we want to start, in this case, sshd. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Comes back to the prompt letting me know that that command completed successfully. We can now check the status of our sshd service to see if it is currently active. Now to do this, at the prompt, Again, I've typed in systemctl, give it a space, type in the word status, give it a space, and the name of the service that I want to check on, which is SSHD. Go ahead and hit enter. And it comes up all in green, letting me know that the service is enabled and is currently running. Now, we all should know that SSH uses port 22. So, I need to check to see if port 22 is currently open. To do that, I'm going to use the netstat command. So, at the prompt, I've typed in netstat, give it a space, dash, small letter, A-N-T, give it a space, and that character that you're looking at is the pipe. I'm going to give that a space. Now, I'm going to type in grep, G-R-E-P, space, 22. 
I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it comes back letting me know that port TCP IP 22 is currently open. It's also open for TCP IP version 6. To check to see if my server is currently listening on port 22 for any incoming SSH connections, at my prompt, I can type sudo space ss, give it a space, small letter L, small letter T. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And from results, we can see that my Fedora server is listening for incoming connections for SSH. Let's go ahead and clear our terminal. We're almost ready to try our connectivity between our workstation and our server using SSH. But before we do that, we have to configure the SSHD configuration file to allow remote connectivity using SSH as root. By default, you will not be able to connect as root to be able to do anything as root using SSH. Now, you can do this with any word editor that's currently installed. I'm going to use a Nano. By default, Nano is not going to be installed on Fedora, so you have to type in DNF install Nano. Now, I've already got that package installed as well, so that's not going to happen. But you can install it just by using the DNF command. We next need to open up the configuration file for SSHD and make a small change to one of those lines that's going to allow us to connect as root remotely using SSH. So at the prompt, I have typed in sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash ssh forward slash sshd underscore config. Go ahead and hit enter. And now I'm inside of that configuration file. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use your down arrow. And you're going to come to the section that is marked as authentication. Go over here to the right just a little bit and scroll on down. And underneath authentication, which is right here, we're going to find a line that is currently showing up as enabled that says permit root login. It says no, but we need to change that no to yes. So underneath here, you're going to find that line that's using the white font that says permit root login and change that no to yes. Once you've done that, just go ahead and hit control X and it's going to ask you to, if you want to save the contents to the buffer. You're going to type in a Y for yes and then hit enter for exit and you'll be back at the prompt. Let's go ahead and clear. And we are now ready to attempt to connect remotely from my workstation to my Fedora server using SSH. Let's go ahead and bring up my workstation. Let's go ahead and scroll on down here. Let's go ahead and clear my terminal. And at the prompt, I'm just going to type in SSH as root at, and that's the IP address of my server, which is 10.0.2.15. And that's all I have to do. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter. And it wants the password for root. This is for the password of root that I'm currently logged on as. Hopefully I typed it in right. No, I did not. So let's try it again. And it says that the last failed login occurred just a second ago. And now I'm currently logged on as root on my Fedora server. Let's go ahead and close out this terminal here. I'll just type in exit. It closed out that connection. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a third party utility called putty. So up here in the search bar for my utilities, I'll type in putty. And there it is. Now putty is real simple to download and install. Just use your DNF command, DNF space install putty, and you'll have it. It's a self-running executable. There's nothing to install. It just runs on top of the desktop as a self-running application. And in this case, I have it configured for SSH. Now all I have to do is just type in the IP address of my remote device. So I could use this application to connect to my firewalls, my routers, my switches, if they are configured for SSH. 
and I can also use it to connect remotely securely using SSH for window devices, for other Linux machines. All right, so let's just go ahead and type in my IP address for my server here. I'll hit enter. Now the first time you do that, it's going to prompt you to accept a certificate. I've already accepted the certificate. So you just go ahead and accept the certificate and that's going to establish the keys that you need to be able to authenticate securely between this machine and the remote machine that you're currently connecting to. All right, so I'm going to log on as root and I'll type in my password again and I'm in. And that's going to conclude this short video demonstration on how we go about configuring SSH for Fedora. Now remember, Fedora, Red Hat, Cent uh, OS, any of those brands that use this type of Linux can be configured to use SSH the same way. You got any questions, you got any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.